Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel, and in this video I will show you how to add such a slot in Fusion. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support, I will start a new project, and to create that slot we will start by creating a sketch. Choose the Create Sketch command. Select this plane as the sketch plane. Then select the circle drawing tool and draw a circle with its center at this point. Click here with the left mouse button and enter 120 millimeters as the diameter of the circle. Then press enter to confirm. Now we will move on to drawing the slot. From the create menu, select the slot command. As you can see, we have several options for drawing slots, but in this video and in this example, we will use the center point arc slot command. Select that command. First, we select the center point of the slot. Select the origin of the coordinate system. Then we can specify the dimensions of this slot, or we can simply select these points freely. You can enter 40 millimeters here, and shortly you will see what these distances are. Now we define the angle at which the slot will be created. Enter 60 degrees here and press Enter. Next, we will specify the width of the slot. Enter 15 millimeters and press Enter. Okay, we have created the slot and added the dimensions of this slot. However, not all dimensions are added here. As you can see, we have the width of this slot defined, but the angular dimension of the slot is not added, and this point is not created at a specified distance from this point. In a moment, we will do this so that it is done correctly. We will use construction lines here. Select the line drawing tool, and draw one line from this point to this point. OK. Now draw the second line from this point to this point. Press escape to cancel the line drawing. Now. Select this line, and with the Shift key, select this line. Here, choose the Construction option to change this geometry to Construction Geometry. Then click somewhere outside the geometries with the left mouse button to deselect all geometries. I would like this point to lie in a horizontal line with this point. We can do this by making this line horizontal. Select this line, and choose the Horizontal Vertical Constraint. OK, then select the dimensioning tool, and we will add the distance from this point to the other point. We can dimension this line. Click on this line and click somewhere below this line to place the dimension. Enter 40 millimeters as the distance from this point to that point. Now the dimensioning is active. Select this line, select this line, and here, for the angular dimension value, enter 60 degrees, then press Enter. Now this slot is fully dimensioned. Its position is fully defined and we will not accidentally change the dimensions or position of this slot. I will press escape to cancel the dimensioning command. Now, if I grab any geometry of the slot, I cannot change either its dimensions or its position. As I mentioned, the slot is fully defined and that is what we strive for when working in 3D CAD systems. Such a sketch is resistant to accidental changes. As for creating additional copies of the slot, we can do this at the sketch stage. We can create a circular pattern of this slot. To do this, I double click the left mouse button on the geometry of the slot to select the entire slot. Then from the create menu, I choose the circular pattern command. We have four objects selected here that will be used to create this pattern. Next, we click the Select button here and select the point relative to which we will perform the circular pattern. We select the origin of the coordinate system and specify the number of copies. Enter 3 here and click OK to confirm. The copies we created are linked to this source slot. And now, if I change the dimensions of this slot, for example, change the angle value to 50 degrees, the other slots will also change. If I change the width of this slot, the dimension will also change in the other slots. 
Now we close the sketch and based on this sketch we can create a solid by extruding the sketch. We click with the left mouse button on the area that we want to extrude, activate the extrude command, that is click this icon or press the E key on the keyboard. We add an extrude to a specified value. We click OK. In this way, with these few simple steps, we have created such a solid. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.